hi everyone you're welcome back to my channel i hope you are doing great today today's tutorial shall be the making of a full circle skirt and in this tutorial i'll be showing you guys how to calculate the diameter of the circle how to fold your fabric even if the length or the width of the fabric you want to use is short and also i will show you how to assemble it and how to sew your full circle skirt if this is your first time here on this channel you're welcome this is don larry and here on this channel i upload sewing tutorials and pattern drafting consider subscribing and don't forget to put on your notification bell so that anytime i upload a new video you'll be the first to receive the notification before we start today's tutorial i just want to say thank you to all my subscribers all my viewers i really appreciate you guys thank you for supporting my channel i really appreciate it without further ado guys let's jump straight into today's tutorial to get started this is the fabric i'll be using and this is an african print fabric the width of this fabric is by 45 inches so this is what the skirt will look like so it has a band of 3 inches so the total skirt length is 24 inches you measure yourself your desired skirt length from where you are placing your skirt so in my home case I have 24 inches the band will be 3 inches and the remaining part of the skirt will be 21 inches which will be the circular area then moving on to the measurements you will need your waist measurement so my waist measurement is 31 inches plus one inch seam allowance i have 32 inches so that 32 inches now whatever you get in your home case you go ahead and divide it with 6.284 so this 6.284 is the standard measurement for circular pattern and after dividing 32 by 6.284 I have 5.09 so I just approximate this to 5.1 so now that you've arrived here what you're going to be doing next in order for us to know the diameter of the circle we want to to cut on the fabric is to add this 21 inches which will be the circular uh, part of your skirt so that's 21 inches then you will go ahead and add it to to whatever you have here so in my home case, I will have 26.1 inches. Then remember that we're going to be adding seam allowance to the, to the upper part of the skirt. And then you will also need your M-line allowance. So for that, I will add 1 inch for the M-line allowance and half an inch for the upper part. You will use that half an inch to join it to the band. So which means we are going to be adding extra 1.5 inches and then all together we have 27.6 inches so i hope you understand this you can watch this part again so that you have a better understanding so now that we have this then we can go ahead and start cutting on the fabric so now we want to um, fold our fabric so that we can draft the pattern on it and cut it out so remember how we arrive at this 27.6 inches which will be the diameter of the circle so because the width of this fabric is 45 inches it means we're going to be cutting it twice so we're going to be cutting the front and we're going to be cutting the back and also i will be putting the zip to the side just to make it very easy so i'm not going to have any zip allowance at the back but if you want to have zip allowance at the back you can go ahead and add your zip allowance to it so we're going to be folding this fabric now and this is the edge of the fabric so to make it very easy we're going to be measuring 27.6 inches now so from the edge of the fabric so you can see the fabric now so from the edge of the fabric now I will measure 27.6 so this is 27.6 here. So here and then from this uh, 27.6 I will just fold my fabric. So like this. So 
so this is the 27.6 from here down to here so you can see i folded it into two now so we have two folds here and here so now we're going to measure 27.6 again along this side So I hope you can see that. So that is 27.6 from here down to that part and then from here to this part. So we're going to be cutting the, the front part of our skirt because of the length of this uh, fabric. So we need to cut it twice. So now that we've measured 27.6 there, 27.6 here, the next thing we want to do now is to mark out the, the radius of the circle. And the radius of the circle that we calculated was 5.1 inches. So I'll just mark 5.1 inches from the edge. This is the center of our circle. Can you see that? So you're going to measure 5.1 inch inches. You will need to mark it round. So the next thing I'll be marking now will be the 21 inches that we have here. And remember that we added 1.5 inches seam allowance to it. So 1.5 inches seam allowance to with 21 inches and we have 22.5 inches. And that is what we have left here. So we're going to measure 22.5 inches. So by doing it this way, we are not even wasting any fabrics. So you can see from here now, from the edge of our fabric down to this part is 22.5 inches. So you will now go ahead and mark that round. So guys, this is what we have. So can you see that? And take note that we've added our seam allowance to the end line and we've added seam allowance to the waistline and that will serve for the joining so we're going to be cutting this out now so this is one part of the circle so we now go ahead and cut the second part so now we want to cut the second part so this is the the one we cut earlier so you go ahead and fold your fabric again into two so you can see i folded the fabric into two and then you spread the one you cut earlier you spread it on it so like I've said earlier that I'll be putting the zip at the side just to make it very easy for me. So I will not be adding any zip allowance. So when you are adding zip allowance, all you need to do at this point is just to add your seam allowance. So like this. So you can just, you can see the one we cut earlier. So just go ahead and add your zip allowance and then you cut it out. So I'll be cutting exactly the same thing. Uh, on this second one so I'll just spread it on it and then cut out exactly what I have here so I've cut out the second one and this is what we have so you can see we have our full circle now so let me show you this is one side and this is the other side so this make it a full circle so can you see that so just like this so then you notch you can notch the center front you notch the center back so now we want to cut the band and to cut the band we're going to be cutting the band for the front separately the band for the back separately so the first thing you will do is to fold your fabric into two remember we cut the center back and the center front on fold so you're going to be cutting your band on fold as well. So once you fold your fabric into two, remember I'll be using three inches for the band. So depending on the uh, how wide you want your band to be. So mine will be three inches. You can make it more than that. So three inches, you will need to fold your fabric because the edge, which is the upper part of the band will be on fold. So it will be on fold like this. So that means you will be measuring six inches and with your seam allowance, you're going to be joining the band to the skirt, remember? So you'll be adding half an inch seam allowance to it, which means you're going to be measuring seven inches. 
so now we're going to fold our fabric like this so you fold your fabric like this and then you're going to be inputting your waist measurement so now my waist measurement which is 31 inches i will divide it by four so dividing it by four i will have 7.75 inches so i will just mark 7.75 inches like this can you see that and then i will have the same allowance of let's say one inch to it like this so instead of you to draw a straight line from this seam allowance down we're going to be drawing it slantly like this and the reason is to avoid any gaping around here so we want this to be firm we want it to lay well with our shape so don't draw it straight to the straight down just draw it slantly like this and then we're going to cut this out so this is what we have and this is just for the front so you will use this to cut out uh, the back I've cut out the second band and this is what it looks like so this is what we have so all you need to do is just to open it then you fold you fold it like this so can you see that so this is what we have for the front and then the back So what you're going to be doing next is to take the front or any of it we have the same thing for both the front and the back then you're going to sew it so remember we notched the center front earlier so you can also notch the center of the band so this is the center of the band so i'll just notch it like this and then you go to your sewing machine and then you sew it down so this is what you will have after sewing it. so you sew it from one edge to another and then you do the same thing to the other side so i'll go ahead and do that join the band to the to the skirt as you can see it so i've done the same to the other side so this is the other one so what you're going to do now is to place it right side facing each other like this So right side facing each other then we are going to input our measurement once again so this is the center of the band so from the center of the band i will just measure 7.75 inch so this is 7.75 inch then i will just draw it down like this and then i will sew it down to the M line so I will do that to this side so to the other side I will just input my um, waist measurement divided by 2 which will be 15 and a half inches so I'll just mark 15 and a half inches here and then the length of the zip you want to to fix you will need to measure it so the length is usually seven and seven inches so I'll just mark seven inches from the top of the skirt. So like this. And then from these seven inches, so I'll just go ahead and sew from here down, leaving this part uh, open. So I'll go ahead and do that and I'll show you what next. So I've joined it together and this is what we have. So this is one side of it. This is the other side of it. And this is the seven inches that we left at the upper part for the sip so this is our sip so just go ahead and fix your sip so can you see the sip allowance already so just go ahead and fix your sip so i will go ahead and fix the sip then i will also finish the m line so i will go ahead and do that and i will show you guys the final look so this is the final look guys thank you for watching till the end i hope you find it helpful if yes don't forget to give it a thumbs up Leave your comment down in the comment section and kindly subscribe to my channel if you are yet to do so. Till I see you guys in my next tutorial. Have a wonderful day. Bye.